I relapsed. The again, again. When? On what? I, not. Oh. I took Adderall. Oh. You look good right now. You seem sober. Well, I'm prescribed it, so it's like a dream. Yeah, the, it's not something that I do. That I didn't sleep last night. So I know a guy. I know a guy who might want some from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, no <laughs> if I if I'm going to start taking if I'm going to start taking it again, then I'm not going to give it away. But I do. Uh, now I'm in a kind of a situation where I'm like, I've been going to AA and they're always saying, don't do drugs. Don't pick up drugs. They're yeah. terrible. They're bad. They're bad. Da, 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 da. But they're always talking about drinking. Like I don't drink. I'm not doing Xanax or any other drugs, but taking Adderall, but like, well, it's still, yeah. It's it, bad, first right? of all, you thinking that you are above the technicalities of the 12 step program, yeah. given <laughs> how many times you've relapsed lately is so egotistical oh, yeah. and arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the problem with it. I think drop the truth. Doing anything successfully requires momentum, <laughs> discipline. Just like yeah. it's way easier to keep your day on the right track when you wake up at a certain time, make your bed, eat healthy. When you're operating according to schedule, everything is easier. Whereas if you sleep in till ten thirty with a hangover beat off all over yourself, and then watch an episode of The Simpsons, <laughs> the rest of your day is going to be shitty, too. Well, it's Futurama, but... <laughs> and then the next day... Did I describe your day pretty well, though, the West Brooks? It was like a night and morning day. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, but if you... If you're trying to maintain a program of sobriety, and you yeah. start slipping and do, oh, it's just vaping. Oh, it's just Adderall. Yeah. It's going to be pretty easy to be like, ah, oh, it's just beer. Well, I can use your advice on this, actually, because I... Really, I am ADD... And also, I need to make money, and my brain cannot focus on things in order to be able to stay on tasks to do so. Like, my room was, like, the studio was destroyed, the house was terrible, and I took an Adderall, I hadn't taken one in a month, mm -hmm. I'd do everything, get it all done. Cocaine. Yeah, that's... Fuck no. It's no, a mental do illegal drug. I guarantee if somebody gave you a placebo, you would have gotten everything done. It's, it's a mental... Dude, everything... Cleaning a room always fucking sucks, so you can... Nobody... Dino doesn't... Leo certainly doesn't like cleaning up a room. No. But I saw the place you lived with Cal, so I was, yeah, that was the frat boy. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, that's how comedy happens. Like, I learned that from Shane Gillis, so I now, like, that's, 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 that's not how girlfriends happen. You got to ask true. <laughs> but, yeah, dude, and I don't think ADHD is, is probably real. I think it's probably just a fake disease that the pharmaceutical industry yeah, yeah, that makes sense. paid that's people to water. propagate so that you they could sell more pills. But, obviously, Adderall's going to make doing anything hard easier yeah fucking duh except for fucking it's way more fun to fuck on adderall even if your dick is limp <laughs> <laughs> that's why like the only time i take adderall ever is when i'm out partying because you can stay out pursuing on the fucking poon trail until 6 a.m well, yeah, and it's amazing and you're sharp and you got you're daniel tosh basically with on adderall mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I feel bad about it. And is that is that like the the paragon of getting pussy when you're drunk? Is Daniel Tosh? That was a real weird right. name to pull. I out. think that you you remind me of him sort of when you're on Adderall. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Which, for the fucking record, is not a lot. It's it's rare, but it's fun. Yeah. It just it put me in a bad place mentally. Like I ended up on Skid Row, like hanging out with a homeless person by a fire with Buck, just like talking. And I was like, this could be me. Yeah. Gosh, gotcha. damn. It was dark, and then we met some girl. He was, what was her, like, basically, she, an she had, she had escaped from Colombia, came to America, and robbed the bank here. Great. <laughs> yeah. Great. I immediately <laughs> want to ask if she's hot. She yes. was. I'll save her. Wait, I'll save her. Yeah, Dude, you, wait, you, you got some videos. I'll save her. So dude. basically, uh, I had fallen off the bandwagon. I bought a tank of NOS, because I was just saying, fuck it. I'm just... That, Raptic exactly. Ralph? Dude. Not exactly. Not right. Well, phrase be the Raptic Ralph, you know. Dude. <laughs> I, too many people in our crew have one foot in the tent, as it were, right now. Mm. Too many people are getting too close to being homeless. Yeah. It makes me uncomfortable. Well, I'm not going to be homeless. I know that for a fact. You got married. It's a good move if you feel like you're going to be homeless is shack up with a chick. Yeah. It's helped Rat Dick. <laughs> Certainly it's helped Brooks. And Overboard. And over, and over yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Talia keep like, the best example. Maybe if, I didn't have a, if I didn't have Italia, oh you gotta boy. beat her up though. I'm if sorry. I didn't have Italia, <laughs> I would be homeless for sure. I was, really? I was loving this conversation. I was having Jack uh, Skid Row Jack. Man, he was the man. Mm -hmm. We were just sitting by the fire. He hikes three miles every day to the Home Depot in MacArthur Park. Goes back to Skid Row, has a fire, just chills with his. Like, Does he have a job at the Home Depot? No. What is he? Why his job is pushing around a cart. 
Wow. Like his life goals to push around the car? No. Is it full of rica- cans that he recycles? He uses it for firewood. He used it for firewood, yeah. That's what I was thinking. He, he Home Depot gets some pallets. He gets pallets at Home Depot. He's like the, guy, fire he's the he guy on Skid Row who has like a real campfire. Like, there's barrel fires and gross fires on the sidewalk, but this is like a nice campfire. Damn. I, it just seems like it's easier for that guy to... I mean, I'm sure nobody would care if he made a campfire over there on St. Andrews. Like, he's why a, go all the way back to Skid Row? No, he's a he's a country boy. At the, at the cops went into his uh, tent and stole his three hunting rifles. Well, you are the upzone of the people you had. Epitome. Epitome. <laughs> epitome. <laughs> epitome. epitome. <laughs> and even epitome. I don't even think epitome is, like, necessarily the right word there. What is, what is he's the word? He's a frat boy. That was... That, He's a frat boy. That, that that's uh, that's one of the, my favorite Brian Regan jokes. He's like, somebody came up to me after my show and said, "You literally mispronounce mis that I do mispronounce every single word." And then Brian Regan answers to this hypothetical person, "If that isn't the epitome of hyperbole, uh, you know, uh, and you just ripped <laughs> or the what's the the when the five people you hang out with, you're the." Of it, the you are the yeah. average of I don't sure. know the, but that's a famous expression I forget yeah what I forget what the actual word is that's what I would have for I thought you're the epitome with the e. just you're the fucking epitome the epitome I made that move I said epitome in high school in front of a bunch of my smart friends and I got toasted so bad so everybody's got to go through that once in their life. Good. Dude, like the, I happen to be on the tri- the trans nest of all. That. <laughs> I can't say great bon, Bonnie Bear. When I said that for the first time, the the music music Bonnie Bear. I said Bon Iver, and you'll never do that again because that I felt so stupid. I was in high school. So what was the how's what's the correct way? Bonnie Bear. I've bon never. Bear. Thank God, I've never said that piece yeah. of shit's name out good. loud. I don't even know who that is. Good, good, good. And hopefully, no one else watching this song though. Body Bear? Is that some folk artist? Who is that guy? Yeah, I don't know. Some sort of hipster band. Okay, I wanted to be like there. a cool hipster dude. I was kind of going. That was my thing. It was the only way I could get chicks in high school. Mm-hmm. They thought art cool dude. Yeah, not much is chicks. Like short. Yeah. Not, yeah, but I figured it out, you know? Yeah, yeah you know, you, I mean, you, you've been learning it. Yeah, I mean, getting pussy has never been a weakness since I've known you. That's nah, sure. yeah. It was, it was a learned, it was a learned straight though, for sure. Yeah, no, I did. it's for everybody, I think. I should start my own uh, course, actually. I mean, yeah, tell people your techniques, become yeah. a painter, uh, you know. Yeah, no, totally. Just, I mean, leave out the part about the 70-year-old black dick. Well, yeah. you know, there's there's things that are better left than said, but mm-hmm. I don't think that's one of them, honestly. I'm Talking about it. the wanting to be different personalities to get close to you, did you want to be gothic at one point? You thought about putting makeup around your, your eyes at some point. I'm trying to think how seriously I got into that because I grew up, and when I was in high school, one of my friends, Colton, who used to be like a rock climbing, skateboarding kind of jock dude, yeah. at like the most extreme, maybe he'd show up with a spiky wristband once and be like, Bleak 182. One day he walked down my street and he had dyed black hair that was all spray paint or hair sprayed up into that emo cut where it's like yeah. folded over here, then it's spiky in the back. He was wearing size zero women's pants and a shirt that said, like, I'm going to slip my wrists. And I was just thinking, what the eyeliner, eyeshadow, just out of the fucking blue. So I had that option yeah. to be like Colton and just one day announce that I was emo and suicidal all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I ever took it seriously. What do you What are you referring to? What have I said? Well, you went to metal shows. What <laughs> the hell is that? Is that that? That's to me in LA. That yeah, so if you see Metallica was, once, no, not Metallica. Yeah, you want to suck it? No, the ones that are like <laughs> those. The, the ones that sound like the ones that sound like, like you when you're masturbating. Oh, yeah. like it, I don't know. No, how you just when I make late night phone calls. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, when Leo calls his ex girlfriends, that's what these bands sounded like. Or when I call his sister, you piece of crap. But anyway, no, you went to metal shows where guys were like, and there were guys just swinging it. Yeah, the but I was always just wearing a, a Volcom t-shirt and I had a buzz cut. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't thinking about and entering the lifestyle. But yeah, no, I, I actually shows. ended up somehow, don't ask me how, metal band. Were they good? So was Editor Ian, it by was, the way. It, it, it's it weird because I was weird, Jewish, so it, but I really wanted <laughs> to be in a band because I thought it was cool. Yeah. And uh, I just, just make lyrics up about God and, you know. Scream. It's not, a, yeah, just like, 
Dude, Dude, and it was, we just wanted to, we wanted to be yes. a Devil Wears Prada, basically. Yes. Yeah. And my editor, Ian, was in a band called The Day of Atonement. Oh, wow. And just every... So, like, you could just close your eyes and point to a random page of the Bible. Yeah, it's not That's our new song title. That's, that's what I'm... <laughs> and then the words that follow are the lyrics to that song. Yeah. Do we have a Bible here? Are you kidding Can me? Can Buck give me a Bible? There's no Bible. We're not going to desecrate it. I just want to start naming. No, so I thought you were reading Jimmy the Bible, Bible, you piece of shit. You have yeah, a Bible I have, I'm reading the audio book. Dino has a Bible. Bible. We're pulling it up. <laughs> we are going to do metal songs right now. Christian metal songs. Nice. I used to F with the Devil Wears Prada, too. <laughs> Or, what do you mean? The, just a movie? No, there's a, there was a band, and the, they were probably the most successful emo slash metal Christian band there was. Yeah, yeah. Dude, was and they still they're still making music. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're still they're still making music. Probably, I, they had some catchy fucking tunes. I mean, Warp Tour isn't as big, but it's, it's dead, right? Yeah. I thought they ended. Oh, maybe it is.